Hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time, we are getting it all in Purpose 1951. Now, this was developed by East Asia Soft and Tonguk Bodor. And it was also published by East Asia Soft. And it is available for £5.79. Slash $6.99, but you can find it on sale right now at this moment in time. Unless you're watching this later on and it's not on sale, then it's just the prices that I just told you just now. Anyway, uh, the gameplay is basically, this is another um, classic Boder uh, walking simulator. This time we are in the life of a retired doctor who, uh, as we walk through the game, he will tell us about his life as a doctor and how it all came crumbling apart from one little tiny error uh, it's very interesting and again it's another classically beautiful looking game uh, in terms of achievements uh we obviously you'll get them for uh, story progression and everything but we don't oh, do also have to find a whole bunch of boxes as well now bear with me on this they're kind of hard to miss but they can be easy to miss as well it, it's genuinely so easy to just walk past them. So, uh, yep, yeah, just I'll, I'll tell you where they are. So don't worry about that. But all in all, again, generally very easy enough. And all in all, you're looking at around sort of 35 to 40 minutes to get this done. So with that being said, then well, we've already started. Let's doing it. So, yeah, let's do it. Now, there is no sprint button. There is no jog option. You just walk slightly fast but sort of slightly not fast enough. It could have done with just a little bit of an extra jog button, but hey-ho, uh, it, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of... Again, this is just another walking simulator, so I won't be needing to talk throughout the whole game because a lot of the paths are just linear until we get to the boxes. The first one we will come up to is very unmissable. You can't miss it. It is called the Expliner. Or the explainer in actual English. Uh, so that'll be your first achievement you'll get straight away. So again, it is just a case of following, enjoying the views, following the linear path, and having to listen to the old retired old man's doctor's story. From that day on, he made an effort to attend every event or ceremony related to my career as a doctor. And apparently, we have a stalky mayor. He watched me. Uh, Get my diploma. Hmm. Is that a diploma in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Uh-huh. My childhood friends Rosie and Sam were also there, cheering me on with their loud voices and beaming smiles. Despite our busy schedules, we promised to catch up more often now that I'd graduated. As I entered my first job as a doctor, I was full of hope and ambition. The hospital was located in a small town, far from the bustling city that I was used to. But it didn't matter to me, as long as I could put my medical knowledge and skills into practice. But reality hit me hard. The hospital was understaffed and underfunded. The equipment was outdated and the working conditions were poor. Patients came in with various illnesses, some easily cured with proper treatment, while others were too severe for us to handle. I remember one day when a young girl came in with a high fever and difficulty breathing. She needed urgent care, but we didn't have the necessary equipment or medication to treat her. We did our best to stabilize her condition, but she passed away before we could transfer her to a better equipped hospital. So 
So once you see this lamppost, make sure to take a right before heading straight down because we're actually going to get the next box. So, oh, oh, sorry, I don't know what the hell happened there. Something wrong with my editing uh, software or something. Anyway, once you've taken a right, can basically head uh, slightly left then and you'll see the next box, which we can open up and get another achievement. This one's called the Beheaded. Oh no, the Realizer. The realizer? Don't you realize? Realize? Real eyes? No. Anyway, head back. Um, uh, yeah, so for some reason, sorry, there was a bit of a glitch. Something happened there with my with my uh, little Elgato HD60S. Time to get an upgrade, I think. Anyway, continue on the path forwards. One day, as Rosie entered the hospital lobby to visit me, she couldn't help but notice the gleaming glass and marble walls, a stark contrast to the outdated equipment and overworked staff. She shook her head in frustration as she thought about the government's priorities. And the we know what the government's priorities are now. Donald Trump is a new McDonald's worker. Now imagine pulling up and seeing that big, bountiful orange head just glaring towards you with intense hatred in his eyes because he does have intense hatred towards everything doesn't he well every everything that's not a white straight male anyway no <laughs> no politics in this video please guys thank you orange head She thought back to her childhood with me, when we would play doctor together in our makeshift clinic made out of cardboard boxes. Even then... So once we get down here, you're going to see a little stone path. Now instead of following that stone path around to the right, continue heading straight down. And we're going to get the player box to open up. There it is, just on our right, so whip that open, skablam. And we're going to get the player. Sometimes the achievements may take a little bit of time to unlock. Uh, otherwise, once it's done, we can then continue following the path, the stone path, and continuing forward again. So is that, like, the player? Or is that the player? Or is that just player? Or, yeah, you know if you're playerish. But as she grew older, Rosie realized that not everyone had access to proper health care like we did. Some families couldn't afford to seek medical help until it was too late, while others were turned away from hospitals due to lack of funds or resources. So we're coming to the first puzzle of the game. Uh, it's very, very easy, just like the rest of them are going to be. So you're going to see the big holes, the donuts in the sky. We have to fill those donuts with the beautiful center. Uh, so it's literally just a case of following the camera around and making sure that it gets there. As soon as it goes orange like this, leave it there. Um, and then eventually uh, um, our retired doctor friend will start talking. Again, move the camera around, don't move the character around, and then just look at all three symbols or pictures, and that will complete the puzzle and move on the game.
Now, this is probably many people's dream, you know, getting away from the hell that is society and the hustle and bustle of the city life and just going for a bike ride around a big, beautiful lake. And that's exactly what we're going to do for the next few minutes. There's no boxes You'll to grab, nothing else to grab. You're just going to continue biking around. Biking! I meant cycling around. Uh, just sort of sticking close with the water's edge, and uh, that's about it for the next few minutes. I've worked hard to get here, finished school, found a wonderful wife, and I can't help but thank the universe for how lucky I am. But it's not about me anymore. It's about all the lives I'll save through my career. The thought alone brings tears to my eyes. As I ride around the lake, the sun glinting off its surfaces takes my breath away. The beauty of this moment is almost overwhelming. My serotonin level skyrocketing as I take in the magnificent view. With each deep breath, I feel alive and invigorated, grateful for the ability to experience such joy and freedom on this ride. Somebody better grab an extinguisher, because I am literally on fire! Sam, the one I mentioned earlier, was actually the mayor's son. His family had strong ties to the mob. One night, he got into a heated altercation with the rival mob leader's son over a girl. Unfortunately, things escalated and he ended up in my surgery room. Initially, everything appeared to be progressing well during the surgery. However, his body had an unexpected reaction to the medications used. His CRP levels began to rise uncontrollably, 
and I was at a loss as to why this was happening. I looked up at the clock. Every second felt like an eternity. The weight of responsibility weighed heavily on my shoulders. So when we get to this area, we're going to take a left. So basically left and continue down. And then you can see a couple more steps. And we're going to take those steps down to the left. In order to get the next box. There it is. Shimmering in all its golden trumping orange beauty. Although I wouldn't call orange trump uh, orange Trump Beauty, but there we go. And that is the Promiser. It's basically the uh, Timu version of the Punisher. Uh, but anyway, once you've got that one, turn back around and then continue heading up. You can see the tree. And we'll continue heading to the left and onwards, soldiers. I knew that I would be held accountable for Sam's death, even though it was beyond my control. The pressure from both sides intensified, and soon enough, my career was under threat. Pressure from Sam's family and the rival mob leader's family reached a boiling point. They were both demanding answers and were not satisfied with my explanation that it was just an unforeseen reaction to the medication. Things were about to get ugly. The next day, rumors began circulating about my involvement with the mob and accusations flew left and right. My superiors called me into their office and demanded an explanation. How could they think that saving lives was a mere risk to me? But I knew that any outburst would only make things worse. I did everything in my power, I replied calmly, trying to keep my emotions in check. But deep down, I knew that this wasn't just about Sam's death anymore. By the way, I'm not making fun of uh, Donald Trump, but, I mean, I am, but it's just because he's one big meme, isn't he? He doesn't actually do anything good, he's just one big meme. Right, so when we get to this tree here, what we're going to do, we're going to take a left, make sure to take a left rather than going straight, to find the next box. Now, for whatever particular reason, I kept thinking this one was called the Replier, and it's literally called the Replier. Um, but because I'm stupid sometimes, I, yeah, I keep calling it the Replier, and it's not that. But anyway... Once you've got the box, you've got the achievement, head onwards once more. 
hard meant nothing in this world where politics trumped everything else. I sighed heavily as I walked back to my office. The wind chime outside tinkled softly, offering a brief moment of solace before reality came crashing back down again. And here we are then, back with the second puzzler of the game. Obviously, it is just the same thing as before. A couple of big giant donut holes in the sky. Make sure to fill them. Sometimes it can get a bit finicky um, with... You have to place it exactly. Like, literally perfect. Bang in the middle. Uh, but sometimes it can be a bit finicky with that. So if it doesn't work with one, just try it with uh, some other pictures. And then, again, as soon as it turns orange... Just wait there until old retired Doctor Man starts talking, and then again move the camera around to do the rest. Things escalated, and he ended up in my surgery room. I knew that I would be held accountable for Sam's death. The next day, rumors began circulating about my involvement with the mob. Alright then, so for this level, uh, there's no boxes or anything, but basically we just have to walk from sort of point to point and just wait until the um, dialogue plays out. That's what we're doing. Now, you kind of have, so basically what you need to do is get to a certain point and then you just need to wait until the next dialogue plays out and then go to the next point. You'll have to wait until the next dialogue plays out. So if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know where I'm going, it's not that, we're just literally getting to this, so this point here, and then we're going to wait for the dialogue to play out, and then head to the next part, and then keep doing that. So, again, just takes a few mins. Her manicured nails tapped nervously on the tabletop, her well-coiffed hair hiding the creases of worry on her forehead. I know this sounds like a terrible thing to say about my future wife, but despite her charming smile and smooth words, a nagging doubt lingered in the air about her true intentions. Despite this, we had formed a close bond over the years in our small town. As the sun set on my day shifts, Rosie and I would often escape to the nearby theaters, surrounded by the quaint charm of our community. The warmth of nostalgia filled every moment we spent together, creating cherished memories. One night, as we sat at the dinner table, Rosie brought up the topic of starting a family. I could see the excitement in her eyes as she spoke about our future children. But all I could feel was fear. Fear of not being able to provide for them or protect them in this dangerous world we live in. It seemed that Sam's father, the mayor, had mob connections, and promptly used them against me. The hospital was obligated to let me go, especially after they organized some incidents that didn't quite work in my favor. Things turned ugly. They sullied my name all over, and I couldn't find a job anywhere after that.
Being broke wasn't the only issue. Shameless gossip was propagated all around town. And by the end, I'd lost touch with many a friend and family member. My relationship with Rosie was also in By the way, I'm not actually sure the purpose of going through each of these levels just to tell us a story. Um, this is kind of just like Grandpa Simpson when he's sitting up at that lemon tree. Hey everybody, look, an old man's talking. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna get the next box now. Head up these steps right here. Right in front of us then is the loser. Loser. Um, thinking box, loser box, and then we can just continue back over and then head to the left and continue on our merry way. Loser. But yes, I, I don't know what the purpose of going through all this muddy terrain for. I mean, maybe he's just an old, well, since he's an old retired man who's basically on the brink of wanting to jump off a cliff, then uh, yeah, might as well go for a long walk, eh? The propaganda Otherwise the mob will just finish him off anyway. Like Joys of joys. The supportive community turned against me. I could feel the stares and whispers everywhere I went. Even worse, my former colleagues refused to speak up for me after the backlash from the mob and the mayor's office. It seems like everyone had turned their backs on me. With no job prospects and dwindling savings, I was forced to sell my house and move into a small apartment on the other side of town. My parents were disappointed in me for losing my prestigious job and were ashamed of the rumors surrounding me. But the worst blow was, of course, what it did to me and Rosie. She couldn't handle the scandal surrounding my name and didn't wish to risk her own reputation by continuing our association. As I packed up my belongings, memories of our past dates and conversations flooded my mind. How could she abandon me like this? After everything we had been through, it was like a dagger to my heart. Yeah, bro, that's pretty much a big red flag right there. I'll support you through anything, but not through that. Well, spanking you hairy. That is, uh, you, you, you suck, Rosie. The propaganda against me was cruel and relentless. Of course, she didn't want any part of it. She deserved better than being with someone who was constantly being shamed and slandered. I thought about reaching out to her, begging for another chance, but I knew deep down that it wouldn't make a difference. The damage had been done and our relationship was beyond repair. Now we are coming up to an easily missable box. Um, I almost walked straight past it the first two times, uh, but not this time. So when we get to the other side here, you're going to see a big rock right in front of us. And just behind this big rock is the Thinker box. So make sure to grab it, have a look to your right, there it is. So again, uh, it's the second time that I played through the game, and that was the second time that I almost missed it, so job done. Uh, anyway, once you've grabbed that, again, continue forward, being absolutely rained on. It's like being in Britain all over again.
I began to spend my days searching for any job that would hire me, even if it meant starting at the bottom. But no one wanted to give me a chance. The mayor's influence seemed to reach every corner of our small town. This story might actually make a good movie, or at least a TV series, wouldn't it? Good doctor moves to small town. You can't do that in a small town. Um, you know, mob tries getting him, and he his name gets besmirched, and then he's just all mashed up forever. Uh, yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, so we got the third puzzle again. Fill the donut hole. And again, for some reason, this was the finickiest part um, of the three puzzles. Um, so, for whatever reason, it just took an absolute date and an age to get it completely dead on. Uh, so, again, if it doesn't work, um, just have a look at the other pictures and try it. And, again, do the whole thing when the sky turns Donald Trump orange. It seems that Sam's father, the mayor, had mob connections. The hospital was obligated to have let me go. But the worst blow was, of course, what it did to me and Rosie. The memory of that fateful day in the hospital is a constant, never-ending present in my mind. The hours were dark and chaotic, turning my life upside down in an instant. Amidst the madness and chaos, I found a moment of clarity as I gazed out the room. My eyes fell upon a personnel guy swiftly and furtively holding a small bottle in his pocket. It said cyan something on it. He looked at me and winked. Mr. Saliri sends his regards. The sight sent shivers down my spine, a stark reminder of the dark lurking behind every corner. Even amidst the chaos, this image remains etched in my mind, haunting me endlessly. So this is why I've been on this winding path. To put an end to the crushing weight of sadness that has plagued me by throwing myself off the edge of this cliff. Okay, we're going to be coming up to the final box. So head forward, obviously. Slightly to the right, and you can already see the last box to our left. So make sure to grab that first. Again, almost walk past that. The Taker. The Master Taker. Yeah, you thought I was going to say something else. Uh, but no, there we go. That is the Taker box, and then we can just continue on forwards again. Most of it's almost tangible. A physical reminder of this journey that lies ahead. 
the wind carries with it a scent of salt, a reminder of the vast ocean just beyond the craggy cliffs. It fills my nostrils and stirs up a sense of adventure and determination. The wind tastes of pure, untamed freedom. A rush of cool air that invigorates my senses and pushes me to take the leap towards my destiny. The gusts swirl around me, carrying with them the sense of earth, the echoes of the past travelers, and their stories. I take a deep breath feeling both exhilarated and apprehensive as I step forward into the unknown. The Personogai is etched into my mind, a symbol of death and betrayal. It must have been cyanide seeping through his veins like poison, planted by the rival mob to sabotage Sam's surgery. The memory haunts me, taunting me with the knowledge that I couldn't save him. And now, I'm left with nothing but shattered pieces of my former self. But I cling to one memory, a glimmer of joy amidst the darkness. Riding a bicycle five years ago, feeling the wind rush against my skin and the freedom of breathing without fear or pain. It was a fleeting moment, but it remains burned into my soul. And this will be it then, guys and gals. This is the end of the game. You will finally get the last achievement called the Finisher. Finisher! Finisher! Um, and that will be 12 out of 12 achievements, and that is a nice, easy 1,000 out of 1,000 done. So, thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. Uh, hope you enjoyed the game, and I really hope that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend, as always. Big shout out again, as always, to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. So thank you so, so much, and for everyone who interacts with me as well. Don't forget, of course, to check out my newest podcast called Gaming's Darker Side. It's all about gaming and true crime and yum yum stuff. And, uh, well, that'll be that. I'll see you in the next one. Big. Love. Or something.